Continuing on the seven concepts of TQM, Total Quality Management, the next one is Employee Empowerment. Employee Empowerment is extremely important if you want to imbibe high quality production every step of the way. So if you want to do just a final stage inspection for quality, then it's too late. You want to incorporate quality at every step of the way and, and for that employee empowerment is extremely crucial because 85 percent of the quality problems are due to process and material and who comes into contact with the process and the material but for the labor force. So there are several techniques that c people use to empower the workers so you have to build reliable and trustworthy networks where employees are able to openly communicate and th the organizational structure must be such that there is trust among the workers and the supervisor and support and the employees must take responsibility and must have the authority to fulfill those responsibilities and provide uh, an environment where people are motivated. Now one particular tool that is used to empower employees is quality circles. Quality circles is a group of employees meeting on a regular basis and they are trained in planning and problem solving and statistical methods. They may be green belts or black belts and they help each other identify, analyze, discuss and solve problems. So when it is done properly, this can be a very effective tool of motivating employees and empowering employees to take charge, and take responsibility and improve quality. Benchmarking is another important tool that helps achieve total quality management and the idea is to borrow from whatever source or steal ideas from other sources that would improve our production okay trying to imitate the best practices and, the, uh, and improve the standards so determine what to benchmark then you form a benchmarking team okay. identify benchmarking partners so that could be if it is external it could be an industry leader it could be industry association it could be within the company in different departments so identify partners and then you collect and analyze benchmarking information so if they are achieving labor productivity X amount and you want to improve labor productivity to your industry leader then you collect data and what way you can improve labor productivity and try to achieve that take action to match or exceed the benchmark so you need to try to exceed the benchmark that you have set best practices for resolving consumer complaints for example okay. so make it easy for customers to complain respond quickly to complaints resolve complaints on first contact use computers to manage the complaints and recruit the best employees for customer service jobs so these are best practices available in the industry and then you try to imitate these these practices that's part of benchmarking Internal benchmarking would be when an organization is large enough and you have different departments and you can gain from other the experience of other departments. The next idea or concept for total quality management is called JIT, just in time. Now just in time principle is to make inventory available just in time, not early, not late. Of course, you, you don't want to, de you don't want delays in making inventory available but making inventory available earlier than necessary is also quite costly because quite a lot of working capital gets locked into this inventory and it just sits there so by incorporating just-in-time philosophy you can cut cost and it will improve quality also because if you want to successfully implement just-in-time you have to make sure that what the inventory that you deliver is of high quality because if not what you deliver is not going to be sufficient and if there are any rejection scrap that you have to throw away defective parts then you're not going to have enough so for just in time t 
to be successful, you must have high quality products. One of the ways in which just-in-time is incorporated is called the pull system. The pull system of production scheduling makes sure that production will occur only when it is signaled from downstream machines. So if downstream processes needs a particular product, then a signal is sent and the production will occur at that point. If not, the production will not occur. So it's a kind of a pull system is is a way, mechanism for making sure that unneeded products are not produced. It allows to reduce the inventory and it also encourages improved processes and product quality because otherwise just in time will not work. Now Taguchi concept is a concept that looks at quality as a way of improving profitability and way of decreasing cost. There are three major concepts quality robustness, quality loss function and target oriented quality. Now quality robustness is about being able to produce. So you, you do the product engineering and product design in such a way that even under adverse conditions you are able to produce high quality products. That is called quality robustness. Even when some small variations occur in the material or in the production process or whatever, you are still able to produce uniformly high quality products. So that is called quality robustness. A quality loss function, it, this concept is about meeting the specifications or exceeding the specifications. Now if you only badly conform to specification, then your cost of quality is going to be high and as you beat and exceed the quality limitations, then your costs will go down. So that's what is uh, illustrated by this. Let's look at a graph. Now technically speaking, of course, if your production is in this range, up, it is acceptable. So this is your specification and this is the target value. Now if you badly meet the specification like that, okay, then the cost is going to be here. Now, as you improve your quality and, and bring it tighter and closer to the target, okay, then your cost is going to come down and down and down. And when you meet the specification and you beat the specification like this, okay, so even though you are allowed, your specification allows you to be anywhere between the lower and the upper limit, but you have a very tight ship and you are able to produce in much smaller tolerances, then that is your best situation. You can keep the cost. So here is the cost or, or loss function. The loss function is cost uh, is more than just the production cost. It's the loss to society. Okay, and and that is the lowest when you try to be when you when you maintain your tolerances to be really really small. Okay, so that's target oriented quality. So there is conformance oriented quality. So you are barely conforming, in which case it's really not you know, costs are pretty high. But target oriented, then so if you are able to keep within this, then you have very low cost.